Hi, welcome back. I have a new math equation to introduce today. Do you wonder what it could be? I'll tell you more about it right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. Are you ready to continue with more subtraction practice? As we go, I will introduce to you our subtraction equation. So let's get started. Take a look at the counters I have on my table. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am going to take away five counters. How many counters are left? Two. Seven take away five equals two. But let me show that to you in an equation form. When we subtract, remember, we always start with the whole number. How many did I start with? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And I took away five. So let me take away five again. To show take away, we use the minus sign. The minus tells us that we're taking away from the whole number. Seven take away five equals or leaves me two left over. So there is our subtraction equation. Doesn't it look sort of similar to our addition equation? But it means something very different. Let's read it again together. Seven take away five equals two or seven minus five equals two. This time I'm going to take away my counters and bring out my red and yellow circles. Let's count them together. How many red dots do I have? One, two, three, four. I bet that was pretty easy. I have four red dots and I take away two of them. How many red dots are left? Yeah, two. Let's write our subtraction sentence together. Do you have your whiteboard and your dry erase marker ready? Or a pencil and paper? Let's do it together. Let me put it back. Remember, when we subtract, we start with the whole number. What was the whole amount that we started with? Yes, four. So let's write four minus, or take away, it's just a line. How many did I take away? Two is right. Four take away two equals, or leaves me, how many left? Two is right. Did you write this? Now let's touch and read it together. Four take away two equals two. Or I like to say four minus two equals two. How was that? Good, let's keep going. Clean your board. And this time I want you to get your counters ready. I'm going to use Unifix cubes or you, and you can use whatever counters you have. Okay, I'm gonna use my green Unifix cubes. Let's count out five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Can you count out five of your counters? Okay, I have mine ready. Do you have yours? Now listen to my story. I have five counters and I take away one counter. How many counters do I have left? Yes, four. Did you do that too? Let's do it again together just to make sure. We have five counters and we both take away one. Did you do it? How many do we have left? Yes, four. Let's show that with a subtraction sentence. 
Can you tell your teacher what number do we start with when we write our subtraction sentence? Yes, the whole number, and that was five. One, two, three, four, five. Five minus, or take away, how many did we take away? One. Do you have this written so far? Five minus one equals, or leaves me, how many? Yes, we both have four left over. How was that? Let's keep going. Erase your board. You can use the same counters or different counters, but I want you to find seven counters this time. Okay, I'm gonna use my red and yellow circles. So count out seven counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you have your seven counters? Okay, listen to my story and we'll write the problem together. I have seven counters and I share three of them with my brother. How many counters do I have left? You got the answer? Let's write it together. I'm gonna put them back so we can see. Okay, what number did I start with? Seven. So let's write seven. Now, do you remember how many we took away or I shared with my brother? How do I show that on my paper or on my board? Yes, take away or minus three. And how do I show how much I have left over? Yes, equals four. How'd you do? Seven take away three equals four. Okay, this time I'm going to write the problem for you and I want you to show it with your counters. It's a fun little twist, but I think you can do it. Here we go. Eight minus two equals six. Can you show that with your counters? What number do we always start with? Good, and did you move away two? And how many did you have left? Did you have six? Watch me do it. So here are my eight counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do I take away? Two. And how many were left? Yes, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see that? Or I could have done it this way. I had eight. I could have taken two this way and put six over here. Either way, it's okay. As we're finishing up our lesson, I wanna remind you, keep practicing your number bonds. The more you can keep working with your number bonds, the easier addition and subtraction will be for you. Bye, see you next time.